Welcome to June's Legal Challenge. Today's problem is two city scheduling. There are two N people a company is planning to interview. The cost of flying the ith person to city A costs I zero, and the cost of flying person ith person to city B costs or costs I one. So inside of a list for each person, the cost of going to city A is the first element and the cost of going to city B is the second element. Return the minimum cost to fly every person to a city such that exactly n people arrive in each city. So that's kind of poorly worded, but basically what they're saying is they want half the people to go to city A and half the people to go to city B. So simply going down the list and taking the minimum number between the two and adding those up isn't going to work uh, because that was my first thought when I saw this problem. All right, so how can we solve this? Here is the example they gave us. And my first thought was, well, how about we sort it by the initially city A and see what that gives us. It would look something like this. Um, this would actually be on top. And maybe after doing that sorting, we could um, get the minimum number here. So that'd be 40 and then add, add whatever's left on the other side. 250. So we can split the list in half, uh, just sum up the minimum here and sum up the minimum here, and add those two up and give us the minimum cost. But that doesn't work. It, it might work um, in some examples, but the reason that wouldn't work is because you're only minimizing the cost for one city. Uh, because if we sort it by, say, city 2, city B, uh, it would look something like that can see like it's not going to minimize the other side very well like here we shouldn't have picked 400 but we're going to if we um, sort it by one side or the other so it's important to think about this whole cost that we want to minimize so in order to do that I thought what if we got the difference between the two right it's just subtract one from uh, zero so city B from city A and that's going to give us like negative 10 this will give us 10 this will give us 350, and this gives us, what, negative 170. So what are these numbers telling us? Well, basically, these numbers are telling us that if we choose city A, we will save this much money. Um, so if it's like here, if it's positive, that means we'll actually lose that much money. So it's a little confusing, but that is what's going on. If we choose to do city A rather than B, we will save this much. So if we want to actually minimize that cost, what we would do is, let's say, sort it by the difference. And that actually would give us the minimum or the uh, maximum amount that we can save choosing city A instead of B, and the rest would we can choose for city B. And that's interesting because um, it naturally will get the maximum or the minimum amount for us because say that we want to check the other side and say uh, well how much do we save by choosing C B instead of A um, that just changes the numbers like this so we're subtracting you know um, city A from city B and if now it's just sorted the other way right so if we did that we would select these two that would be city B so that, that's it's a really uh, hard to um, it doesn't come like intuitively, but if you just kind of play around with it, it starts to make sense. So how, how will we solve this? All right, well, we have our costs and we want to what? Definitely want to sort it, but we want to sort it by the difference, right? And we're gonna um, do the difference between city, subtract city B from city A. So let's see, key equals, we're gonna use a lambda function and say subtract x1 like this. Oops. And that will sort it by the manner I just showed you. Now what? OK, well, now uh, we need to get the middle point. And we know that's even, so uh, that actually makes it a little bit easier. We'll give, give n. We'll say that's length of costs. And we'll select the half point, And that's just going to be n divide by two, and we want to make that an integer, right, not a float, so do that. So finally, what's going to be our minimum sum? Well, call that min sum, and that's going to be 
Well, it'll be the sum of every A in 4AB, 4AB in costs. But we're only going to do, now that's sorted, we're going to only go up to the half point. And we want to add that to the rest, but then we're going to do that with B now. So B, but we're going to start at half and go to the end. And we'll just return that. Let's make sure that works. And, you know, it does, test case does work, but it's always possible that didn't work. Oh, there we go. So it's accepted. Yeah, so I f when I first saw this, like I was playing around with the sorting. Um, it didn't take me too long to figure out that finding the difference is the way to go. But it did take me a while to figure out why that is. Um, because at first it just kind of seemed like it was working. And I had to really look at the numbers to figure out like what's going on here. Why does it just work when we split it by the difference? And if we had done like this way, um, like say we say we said the difference like this, and we sorted it by that, then we'd have to have gotten B up here and A up here. And that would have been the same. That would have worked as well. So hopefully that helps you solve this question. It's supposedly easy, but I thought it was or rather tricky. So thank you very much.